what's going on you guys welcome back to another video in this video i am about to leave on my trip to new orleans and i'm just going to walk you guys through what i have in my travel um weekender bag i just got this bag this bag is a zermit Zer zermit bag got it from amazon picked up just recently so i'm gonna give a full review on this later on but let me just go through it so far the quality of it is very good for about 40 bucks you can't really beat something of this price that you can use as a personal bag i'm gonna start from the sides this weekend i'm gonna be gone for about three days which is what a weekender bag it should be for i have my black suede chelsea boots in the side compartment I always bring about just two pairs of shoes, yours that you're wearing, and the shoe of choice that you plan to wear while you're there. I always try and pick like something between casual and a little classier look. Down from the sides, I'm bringing again my, as you've seen in my previous videos, if you haven't, the link will be up here. Right here. <laughs> this is my Right in the Rain notepad. Um, just plan to take some notes while I'm there because I'm trying to be more productive. Writing it down just gives me a physical thing I can re recall versus something that's easily deleted online. I reckon everybody have a notepad. And here, I just have my business cards. That's obviously a large slot, but since this is just a three-day trip, I'm just trying to fill up every part of this little bag that I can. On to the side compartment on this side, I have my Bose QC35 headphones. Um, these are amazing headphones, especially for when you're taking on-trip flights. I would recommend this to anybody who is traveling, having to deal with any loud babies or loud sounds when traveling. Getting into the meat and potatoes of this bag, let's open, open her up. I have a Show Your Work book by Austin Kleon. I read the first book of that he made right here, Still Like an Artist. It was amazing. I would recommend anybody who's trying to be creative read that book. It gives you lots of insight. Um, I have not even started reading this book, so I can't give you a real detailed review, except that this, this author is great if you're being a creative. Again, if you are traveling and you're a tech addict like me, you should have one of these bags. This is my Heinz Eagles bag that houses all of my tech items. You see how neat that is? This looks gorgeous. It has everything from a MacBook Pro, my Google Pixel 3 XL. In the back compartment, I have my MacBook Pro charger and my Google Pixel charger. I have an SD card reader that's not currently in here that's going to be in here. And in here I just have my Apple extension cable, as you may need. You never know when you're just going to be just a little bit too far from an outlet. You need to have that little extra three inches. I have my MX Master mouse. This mouse is amazing. I do plan to do some edits and vlog the entire trip while I'm in New Orleans. So if you're wanting to stay tuned for that vlog, it should be almost after this video that you guys are watching now, because I will be there currently. Now for the, the beefy boy, inside of this in-case icon um, sleeve is my 2015 MacBook Pro. I love this thing so much. I would recommend any travel vlogger get something similar to this. Premiere Pro is great on it. And it just, it runs better than my PC currently, and that costed me $2,000. Um, I am getting a skin for this very soon. It actually comes in on Friday when I'm not going to be here, sadly. But just stay tuned for that video on that wrap, because it is sick. On to the main thing that you guys will probably have is I have about two pairs of jeans or Paxson jeans, Moto jeans. If I could replace my entire wardrobe with just Moto jeans that fit me well, I would do it in a heartbeat because these are amazing. They fit good. I'm wearing some now, as you can see. But I also have a few regular size shirts. I'm not sure what the weather will be. I know it'll be a lot hotter than it is in Colorado currently. 
So I'm just expecting, expecting some socks. No particular. Sorry about that cut, you guys. My memory card actually got full, so I had to just um, replace it with another one. I'm gonna move over from what I was saying to things like this. These are um, honorable mentions. This is my Audio Technica bag for my mic that I never used, so I just converted it into my toiletry bag. It's super plush on the inside, nylon. I don't have any fear that anything's going to happen to that. Another honorable mention for stuff that's just gonna be in the vlog that's not gonna be in the pack is my Gorillapod Focus. This thing is awesome. Um, a few other things that aren't gonna be in here are things obviously of course as my off-white camera strap that's pretty badass. I have two extra batteries because this one is actually about to die. And, and one other thing that I should always include in these is a tireless sport. Again, if you watched my backpack review, you'll see most of these the same items repeat because they're just good things to have, things that I use on a daily basis. But this is just a just-in-case type deal. Um, this will be my um, personal belongings, but just in case I lose it, somebody picks it up, I know where it is. So just throw that in there. And that's basically it, you guys. There's a few masks in here that I'm going to use for the for the gram. If you want to follow anything that I post, stay tuned for the description below. And with that, I'm going to end this video, guys. If you guys have any ideas on things that should be inside of this bag, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for that vlog.